Hey guys, it's Lee Carlton here, and for this first episode of Retro Wednesday, and before we start, we're going to be playing Call of Duty 2 on my Nintendo GameCube today, and we're going to see how good this game was back then, because I'm pretty sure the graphics are terrible compared to Black Ops 3, so we're going to see if this game has stood the test of time by completing this mission that I'm pretty sure is called Root of the Fighting First in North Africa, so without further ado, let's get into some actual gameplay. Alright. Black screen. Pirate, you better have a good reason why you're sitting in that tank and not in a half-track with the rest of your squad. It's my fault, sir. You just wanted a quick ride, and my younger brother is a pilot who wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for what you guys did back at that airfield. This is the U.S. Army, not a goddamn carnival, son. See that my rifleman is back in his half-track at your next stop. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, so I guess we're on tanks. I played this mission before, like, a long time ago. Look at these tanks! Oh my god. COD 2. Wheelie with tanks. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Where are they at? I'm gonna shoot their place. Die. Yeah. Let's go. We have to keep moving. Head towards the next that guy just died. Oh my god. This game's graphics though. What what my tank is going into the sand. Like that would be that would be a thing. Hmm. Somebody needs to recreate this in GTA. That'd be so cool. We need back up in this game. Oh god. What, what's happening? Oh. I forgot, if you hit like the L button on your controller, it just like turns black. What do you add? Oh. Alright, let's go. You can die! Oh, sorry, you go. Like, when I first played this, the tanks got stuck. So I had to do this entire mission again. So freaking terrible. I never said the game was bad though. Or, uh, it is ours. Oh god. Die. Why are you not dying? Die. Okay, he's dead. We got this, people. Alright. Oh god. Get out. <laughs> Get out! Alright, first infantry! Hey, they're dropping one. bombs. This is gonna be tough. We should find a way to flank them. And I'm going the wrong way. No. Run. Go! Why am I getting nuked? I'm getting bombed anyway. Get out. God. What's going on? Why is my health so low? Oh my god. Watch out! We got armor! Oh god, there's people. They're trying to flank us! Help me, people! Alright, I think we got both. Ah! Nice shot! Looks like we got him! Let's move out! 
gonna move out. What's going on? You guys gonna go? Okay, there you go. Like, you have to, like, knock some sense into the AI in this game. Sometimes they'll listen to you, and sometimes they won't. It's one of those weird bugs in the game or something. so much health. Like, serious. When, when did health ever become a thing? In, like, a health bar? I have to stay behind cover and shoot people. Come on. There's still one more dude. Okay, he died. What are these? Camouflage military tanks in the desert. So let's keep going. Mm. Well, this game is certainly old. Came out like 11 years ago. Wait. Uh, if you guys know anything, tell me like a really good looking game. They came out in like 2005. Because I know this game came out for the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox 360. Or the original Xbox. Whichever one it was. Yo! Okay, I think we got them all. See, this is the part I'm talking about. They just stand still. And I ain't doing this mission all by myself. Who's shooting me? Get on my face. Okay, my tanks are moving. There's the depot! Look at that place. There's no way we're getting in there. All we have to do is clear the defenses and our flyboys will take care of the rest. Okay, let's go. Panthers! Here they come! Is he hitting me from back here? Oh my god! Oh my god. Wanna restart from the checkpoint? I died though. Alright, oh my god. Half health, really? Wish we could get like some, uh. You know what? Let's, let's quit. And then let's go to a mission where we actually get to shoot. Because being in tanks ain't fun. Not really any fun right now. So, we're gonna go to a play, play game chapter select. Easy, because I suck at this game. So let's see if we can, like, I don't know what. We're gonna see if we can, like, improve the foot the material here two years earlier military channel with the world once again thrown into war the u.s first infantry division is called into service with regiments dating back to the american revolution it is the oldest continuously serving division in the united states army 
known as the Big Red One for their distinctive arm patch. The fighting first set sail from New York to the United Kingdom in early August 1942 to begin their training for the Second World War. Under the watchful eye of Major General Terry Allen, the division commander, the fighting first was kept busy, preparing for their first taste of combat. Across the sea, British and German armies clashed under the scorching heat of the deserts of North Africa. Amidst these hellish conditions, General Bernard Montgomery and his British Eighth Army had been able to hold off Rommel's blitzkrieg attacks through a war of attrition. But the deadlock needed to be broken, and the Big Red One, fresh from their training, waited eagerly for their call to action. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and American President Franklin D. Roosevelt, along with General Dwight D. Eisenhower, devised an amphibious assault directed at the Vichy French-held territories of North Africa. Codenamed Operation Torch, the invasion was to start in late October of 1942, with the 1st Infantry Division embarking for the Algerian coast. Unsure if the German-occupied French forces would attack U.S. troops, bright American flag armbands were to be worn as a deterrent. However, this was the least of the Big Red One's worries, as Rommel's battle-hardened Africa Corps were not about to get into these young American soldiers without a fight. You know, let's just end the video here, because that was like a long cutscene, so... Here we go. Bye, guys! Well, by the science